Welcome back to this Star Wars Galaxies Let's Play. You're with Zul'jin. Today we are on Zul'jin, actually. My creature handler and aspiring Terrace Cassie artist. Over in the Norglatch Cave, normally I wouldn't start uh, recording here, but some cool stuff has just transpired. If I check my instant messages here, you'll see that I was just messaged by Mobius. He says, cool, congrats on winning first place in the action category of my screenshot contest. You have your choice of a million credits or your choice of a game from the Star Wars Humble Bundle. I can list them if you're not sure what's available. So a little while back, I think I messaged, I, I think I talked to you guys about uh, grabbing some screenshots and I got an awesome screenshot of a Rancor, um, similar to what I used in the thumbnail to my Rancor Taman video. So anyway, I'll, uh, I'll flash that on the screen for you guys right now, but this is the winner of that. And Mobius is another YouTuber that has been doing Star Wars Galaxies content for quite a while. So I'm going to hopefully meet him in just a second. He's supposed to be um, coming to the Norglatch Cave to deliver my prizes. So uh, speaking of Norglatch Cave, that's where I am right now. Uh, the Norglatch Cave is a great place on Naboo to get experience. I mean, a great place. So, right now, you can see that I am using a, an ability called Spin Attack. Uh, this is the first Spin Attack in the tree, and it's done by... You gotta get the unarmed... Wait, what is it? Move techniques? Maybe it's... <laughs> I forget which power it is, actually. But it's one of the Terrasca C abilities. Either that or it's the actual first... Um, it's in the unarmed category. Anyway, un under, uh, under Brawler. But I am enjoying um, leveling up my, uh, my guy over here. It's been pretty easy so far. You have to get buffed. I can't do it naked or anything by any means. But um, today's going to be a pretty exciting episode, you guys. I finally got the uh the wrist armor that uh my buddy made for me so if i check the big lebowski he started talking about getting me some wrist wrist armor so he says um uh let's see hey man your armor is in my vendor on rory miss valley the vendor is called storage and uh the wait let me let me finish this because i can't concentrate right now uh i can't read and, and hit this guy at the same time all right, there we go. So, there's a backpack called ZJ. It contains six pieces of wrist armor, 80% kinetic, 80% base. Price is 600k, little discount, waypoint included. So, I am going to be grabbing my wrist armor with my hard-earned money. <laughs> I do have quite a bit of money here saved up on Zul'jin, 419k, as well as having... Um, Almost 1.5 million on uh, on my other character right now, on my Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter has been treating me very, very good here, so uh, it's really, really nice. So, I guess I'm going to finish up here in the Norglash Cave, guys. I know it's, it's pretty loud right here, but I just wanted to show you guys how I was training. You can get a big pack on you right here and just spin attack them down. And slowly but surely gets some, some pretty good experience. It's not like the... It's probably not as good as the Squill Cave. Uh, since the Squill Cave, the experience is a little bit better and faster, but I don't think I'm quite ready for the Squill Cave. The Squill Cave is pretty intense, and even when I get a hold of too many of these guys at the same time, it really, really can mess me up. So mitigating damage is important so that I can stay alive to keep getting experience. Anyway, I'll meet you guys back outside when, um, when Mobius comes meet me. Well, guys, I guess he had to run, and he didn't want to come into the cave with all that cash, so he went ahead and just tipped me. I didn't even get to see him. I was in the middle of a, a Norglatch fight, but he did say down here, um, there you go, bro, congrats again, and now you can see in my inventory I have a million cash. <laughs> I have to get the hell out of here and to a bank, like, right away. It is severe, so we're going to head out and um, and go buy the wrist armor now. All right, y'all. We should be rolling up to the vendor right now. Uh, if I could find a way into this place. <laughs> it looks like it's right here. The small Lebowski's house. <laughs> Apparently, he's got a bigger house. If he can make wrist armor, he's probably rich. 
Uh, oh. Very nice. Uh, he said the vendor is called Storage. Officer Lebowski's kinetic segments. All right, let's see here. Um, maybe in the back? And downstairs? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, it says it's like right around here. I can't believe I'm getting lost in the house. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, here, vendor storage. Refresh. CJ, there it is. 600,000 credits. You're attempting to buy container name CJ. The container does not necessarily reflect its contents. Do you want to make this purchase? Do you trust this seller? Yes, I trust him. We bought it. <laughs> we bought it. Oh, Night Sister armor shards and stuff. Janta hides. Very, very, very nice. Okay, y'all. It's time to check it out. Let's see what we got here. So, ZJ. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. Yes, does it look sexy or what? Um, all right. Let's, let's figure this out here. We're going to open this in a new container. Or a new window. All right, I have to. I, I'm gonna have to do all of this stuff correctly so you guys can see. Okay, there we go. Can I make it? Yeah, there we go. All right, so let's put the wrist armor on, shall we? We're gonna have to move it all into this armor slot or this inventory. And I really don't know if I'm gonna use this on my bounty hunter. Or if I'm going to use this on Z. It really all depends. I think my survivability <laughs> is going to be so much better with this, man. It's going to be incredible. Okay, here we go. Boots. Oh, baby. Leggings. Oh, it's the skirty. <laughs> arms. Uh, Other arm. Uh-huh. Chest? Dang it! Put it on! And... Head. Oh, baby. Look at this. Look at it. This looks... Pretty dang incredible, man. Pretty dang incredible. Let me hide my hood. Oh, man. Look at this. <laughs> I look so bad. It's incredible. I love it. Oh, I love it. Lebowski. This is amazing, dude. This looks so good. I, I You know, I gotta say, I really think that this is going to be better on my Terras Kasi. Only because it looks so fitting. Like... If I would be an unarmed combatant, this would kind of be the armor that I would wear. And this is my main character. I think I'm going to keep it on Zul'jin. I think I'm just going to put composite on my bounty hunter, Dr. Z. This is so good. Lebowski, thank you so much. I don't know what to do with it, man. <laughs> I want to do some stuff with it. Um, so the pieces, let's take a look at the pieces, shall we? Because... That's really important, what they look like. I'm sure you guys have already paused the video and saw if y'all were used to it, but... 87% resist to everything besides acid, stun, and lightsabers. Uh, the encumbrance of the pieces are actually pretty good. 80% connect... Uh, kinetic. <laughs> connect. Oh, 81 everything. The helmet is... A 209 mind encumbrance, 62 on health and action with 82% to all except kinetic. Oh man, sockets available, it's got some sockets too. Yeah, I really think with the bounty hunter gear that I'm going to need to set up, I'm, and this is a composite armor chest because the uh, I'm, I'm guessing I didn't need the wrist at all um, because it probably looks a lot the same, I'm not too sure how that works, but uh yeah, I definitely am going to need the number of sockets that I'm going to need on some of the stuff to get my build right is going to be, uh, I'm going to have to max it out and stuff. So yeah, this is definitely a much better suit of armor for Zul'jin. And look at that. Is there anything that we can do with the colors to them? 
just out of curiosity. Let's see. No, it's not like the composite where we can actually change the colors on them. Um, and it looks like the color, we can change it on the composite chess piece that we have. Um, let's see here. Where is it? Uh, there it is. Composite chess piece. Okay, so if we change this to... It's almost like a green... Is it a green? It's hard to tell what color it is. It's kind of... Let's try this color, maybe? And see what it looks like? It's really hard to know what it's gonna... Yeah, that's pretty close. I think I like that better than the dark for this specific deal. Um... But yeah, it's going to be really, really cool. Well, anyway, guys, Mobius is talking to me. I'm going to head out and uh, we're going to get some more stuff done today. So in an effort to show you a little bit how the armor works, I've decided to come to a bull rancor nest and see what I can do with it. Now, I already know how this is going to work out, but I'm about to show you how it's going to go. Hopefully, I can tap the nest and we might get a baby. But I gotta tell you, these things are extremely rare. I have a bunch of full inventory here. I'm gonna take a couple of Vasarian brandies because these just help me a lot. And it looks like I've had the little bug that when you get <laughs> off your <laughs> off your speeder, sometimes you get stuck. Uh, so watch this. Normally, you know, people would just pull one or two or whatever. Nah. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the whole shoe bang. Oh man, this build and this armor is really, really, really awesome. Let me show you guys how it works. Ah, uh, here we go. Let me move this out of the way so you guys could see a little bit. Look at the health bar dropping on these things. <laughs> now, I'll I'll obliterate my mind bar doing this. I really will. Um, but thankfully, um, I don't have uh, to do that with uh, the Viserian brandy. Okay, I only have one left. I'm going to go ahead and knock him down. All right. He's down. So, all of the all of the rancors are now down for the count. Let me go ahead and peace. And I'm going to try to loot them and we're going to try to tap that nest for a baby. Now, this is this is kind of hard because typically as soon as I get this nest um tapped as soon as some more spawn again if there's a baby it's going to want to come after me uh so i'll just have to get away from it i mean i can mass scent and stuff um but it's probably not going to help just out of experience talking here all right let's just do some regular attacks and peace as soon as we see spawn all right there's peace all right there is no babies in the group not that i can tell Gnarled Rancors, Bull Rancors, nope, nothing. All right. Time to take the nest down again. But you guys can see, it's it's insane. Now, I've getting, I've gotten to some points that, um, like some higher-end Rancors, some of the Bull Rancors, the ancient Bull Rancors, um, and the Gnarled Rancors can do a little bit more damage to me. Uh, but what I normally do with those is take some Piccata Pie, and that r brings my, uh, my dodge up so darn much. Okay, where's the Gnarled Rancor? That, I'm, I'm focusing on another target somewhere, I'm guessing. The Gnarled Rancor is... I'm trying to see where my target is. Okay, it's way over there. I can go fight them too, <laughs> but for now, we really just need to see if I can tap this nest. Now, to get this mission, by the way... Uh oh I'm in disease. That's another thing. Um, disease, with the Meditate ability, you can actually heal uh, or cure disease. And you get a ton of wound healing, too. That's pretty amazing. We don't have to worry about it right now, though. I'll do that later. Okay. Let's tap this nest again. I got to bring it down to about halfway. Couple more hits. All right. There we go. Peace. And it does not look like... Yeah, unfortunately, there's no baby. <laughs> so this has probably happened to me. About 35 times. I don't think I'm ever going to catch it on camera. I think I've went over this this clip probably a dozen times by now. 
in hopes that I would catch a baby coming out. Uh, but I don't want to give you guys false impressions. I would have told you about it anyway, but the fact that we can't get one to spawn, that's that's pretty regular. Me and my buddy Thu have, um, have tried this quite a few times, actually. He and I came out the other night, and we both did just a ton, man. All right. That's it, big boy. Sit down. Well, the mission is complete, and I did get some money, but it's split between quite a few other people in the party. I don't know if you guys saw that, but in order to get these type of missions, you do have to join uh, the big group that's always in Dothamir um, with the uh, the squad leader and stuff. And the squad leader's actually been offline like two or three <laughs> days in a row, uh, but I finally got them to uh, invite me, one of the dancers to invite me or whatever. They have a couple ATSTs parked, and I still didn't have enough with this group, although I'm doing it kind of early there in the day. I had to um, <laughs> I had to invite my own pets to the group, which, by the way, the pets work very, very, very good with this build, too, because, like I said, they just helped me do DPS. Uh, let's go check out these Gnarled Rancors really quick. These, I think, are creature level... Let's see. They're creature level 46. So actually, that's not real good. And you can't tame these. I guess um, we can go on the other one. I do have one more nest to check out. So, as expected, you guys, that last nest did not yield a baby. So to take out my frustration, I think I'm going to try out this business here. It looks like there's some Rancor Tamers along with some regular Rancors. So let's see how I fare up against the Tamer. I don't think I've ever even taken one of these guys out. Oh, they are nothing. Hold on, let me check them out. He's got a little bit of resistances. He's very resistant to acid. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> to cold. Which I think the only thing that does cold damage is grenades. I don't know. This should this should be really really easy then. I thought this was gonna be something, something kind of difficult. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, let's just go up in here and make a mess. I guess y'all got a little fire going over here. Can I can I join the party? Mushrooms? Uh, I mean mushrooms. Marshmallows, please. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of marshmallows or some some hot dogs we could roast. Barbecue, anybody? Singing Mountain Clan steaks, Rancor steaks. <laughs> oh man, these guys are nothing. Oh, what is going on here? Oh, I got knocked down. Hold on, we're fixed up now. And last but not least, one little old tamer left. Well, that was easy sauce. Easy sauce. So I got an armor attachment from the Rancor Tamer. I did not know they yield armor attachments. The only thing that I've been able to get armor attachments from were my bounties. Let's check it out. What is it? Is it any good? Bleeding resistance, five. Thrown weapon speed, five. I mean, bleeding resistance, nine. So thrown rep weapon speed is, I, I guess that's okay if you're like a grenadier or something. Uh, but bleeding resistance is pretty damn good. I didn't realize that you can get decent stuff like that. Now, I do know all Night Sisters are not created the same. Protectors and spell weavers and stuff like that can probably be pretty darn bad. These are outcasts over here. So let's get a little bit closer and see what these guys look like. Oh, they have kind of the same getup. Look at this. <laughs> she looks wicked, man. All right, let's go, let's go a little bit deeper in and see what we got here. Um, and I think this will be our last stop for today. By the way, if I didn't go over it yet, this this little guy at the top left, roll call, that's my squad leader. I've been getting him experience. The way that squad leader experience works is you get experience for every single point of combat experience you get. Like twice the number of combat experience I get is how much squad leader experience my squad leader gets. These guys are a little bit harder. Nothing major though there's one over there I'm glad I don't have the fourth one over here probably get a little bit worse they got swords and stuff and they still doing like karate moves on me or uh <laughs> what is, 
<laughs> I don't even know. I don't know why I said karate. Uh, Terras Casimus, <laughs> which I guess it could be karate moves too. <laughs> but, um, oh man, I'm not even getting combat experience no more. I think I might be maxed out. I really hope I don't have to manipulate any of my, my stats in order to get squad leader experience. I'm going to have to tab over and see how that works. Um, I don't think I got many, uh, anything special right there either. Sit down, girl. I'm going to just do a few, few moves to you. <laughs> while she's laid on the ground. Kicking her while she's down. How rude, Zuljan. How rude. Well, that's it. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. I think that it's safe to say that the wrist armor is badass. <laughs> if you guys were curious, I don't know if I showed you my um, my vibro knuckler, but it's not that amazing. It's pretty damn good. I mean, I'm not I'm not mad about it. I do like it, but all in all, guys, I, I really do like the build, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support, and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos, guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljan signing off. And we'll see you next time.